Here's how to close all open apps on your iPhone. Now, if you have a bunch of different apps open and you wanted to close them all down, maybe some of them are glitching or causing issues, or they're just running slowly and you wanted to free up some of that free memory on your iPhone. I'm gonna show you how to close them out. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your finger, any finger, and you're gonna start at the very bottom of your screen. So go from the bottom of your screen, you're gonna swipe up and over to the right. So you can see it immediately pops up with all of those little screens from my different apps that are open. So if I just swipe my finger directly up, you can see it doesn't do anything. You have to swipe up and to the right, or if you're looking the other way, up and to the right. So again, I'm gonna swipe up and to the right, and you can see it shows a preview of all of the apps that are currently open. Now to be able to close them all out, again, you take your finger and you just swipe them up. So you can see that process. I take them, swipe them up, take them, swipe them up. And you can just go through that entire list of all of these apps, keep swiping them up until you've closed out of all of the open apps. Now keep in mind a few different things. One is that Apple does a really good job of managing resources on your iPhone. So you don't necessarily need to do this all that often unless you're having an issue with a specific app or your iPhone is running really slowly. Another thing you can do is if it's running really slowly, you could always force restart your iPhone. So you can tap the volume up, the volume down, and then tap and hold that side button. Basically, it'll show a slide to power off, but if you keep holding it, it will pop up with an Apple logo and basically force restart your iPhone. This will close out of all the apps, close out of anything, any processes that are running in the background, and it'll help everything run a bit smoother if you're having issues or your iPhone is glitching or causing bugs or anything like that. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below, and I'll catch you on the next one.